Okay, and so to determine this uh, this quantity of vinegar or acetic acid and vinegar or ammonia and household ammonia, we are going to have to do some calculations. So basically, once so you now know how to standardize solutions, and now that we know how to standardize solutions, the rest should be fairly easy. So let's say we've got a five percent by mass and it's always assumed that it's by mass you you don't need to worry about any other type of problem uh, for now um, of 20 so we need to use 20 milliliters of 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide to neutralize our our vinegar um, so what does that mean um, we have no idea so this has been standardized so now we need to find out what this actually means because right now you know 20 milliliters doesn't give us any clue we have no idea what sort of um, uh, percent we might get of um, acetic acid or a vinegar that we will that or of acetic acid and vinegar as of right now so we think that we have roughly a five percent solution but we don't know yet so let's try to figure this out um, so we'll start off by just basically taking what we know which, and trying to find the number of moles. So how can we arrange this equation? We've got moles per liter here and we've got milliliters here. How can we arrange this in such a way to get moles? So let's think about that. Um, but let's do 0.2 moles per liter, which is what this molar concentration means right here. And you have to have to know that molar means moles per liter. Um, so then what can we multiply this to get moles by itself? Well, since we've got this liters on bottom, we just need to multiply by liters. So we need to figure out how many liters do we have in 20 milliliters. So that's going to be 0 0.02. Actually, you know, I'll go through that calculation as well. So let's just say we're not totally sure, but we know that there are 1,000 milliliters in a liter. So we've got 20 milliliters. over one because we just that's just what 20 milliliters is and now we know that there's a thousand milliliters in a liter so how can we do that calculation to cancel out that milliliters and get the liters to cancel out with that first liter so we have to put milliliters on bottom to cancel out with this milliliters and we have to put the liters on top so that it can cancel with this liters over here Okay, so once we've got this, now we just need to plug in that it's a thousand milliliters per liter, and we can cancel out milliliters with milliliters and liters with liters. And so that's going to leave us with 0 0.004 moles. And what are these moles of? Well, we started off, I should have written it right here in our in this section right here but this is sodium hydroxide so we end up with 0 0.004 moles of sodium hydroxide okay so that is how many moles we have of this substance so now that we've got our quantity of moles of sodium hydroxide let's convert that and figure out how many uh, moles of acetic acid that's going to be equivalent to so we've got 0 0.004 moles and we are going to then multiply that by one mole of acetic acid per that is required per mole of oh and I once again I forgot sodium hydroxide and per one mole of sodium hydroxide and that'll allow them to cancel out okay so then we take that and we multiply it by the mass of acetic acid which is 60.05 grams per mole of acetic acid and I'm just writing that as AA um, not to be confused with Alcoholics Anonymous so then we've got we cancel out this moles of sodium hydroxide with moles of sodium hydroxide and moles of acetic acid with moles of acetic acid um, and we are now left with how many grams of acetic acid we are going to have and so that is going to be equal to 0 0.24 grams of acetic acid. Um, now we can set up a ratio to find out what sort of percent that's going to be equivalent to. So let's say we've got 0 0.24 grams of acetic acid. Um, 
and we let's say we used uh, let's say uh, three grams of vinegar now we can find out what sort of percent we've got because it's going to be out of a hundred percent so you need to know how to rearrange this type of problem um, we just basically have to multiply both sides by it depends how you set this up if you want it in percent if you want your x to be in percent then you can multiply this other side by a hundred and that'll give you your answer so we've got 0.24 divided by three that's going to be 0 0.008 and then we can multiply that by a hundred and we are going to get that x equals eight percent and that would be how you would do this type of problem um, so hopefully that has you guys all set up for um, the practical exam make sure to watch my final notes um, and I think that's it uh, let me know if you have any questions feel free to comment on these videos and I will try to answer any questions that you have um, the sooner that you ask them the more likely that I will be to answer them um, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed working with me this semester and I will see you at the exam have a good one